Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready get 30, ready get 20, 20, 20, ready get 20, 20, ready get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail. And I'm like, oh my God, is it wrong that I got a little excited? Am I the only one? Like, I want them together. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of On Display with Melissa Gorga. I'm actually so excited about this episode today. Uh, But before I roll into who my guest is, I need to remind everyone that On Display now has its own Instagram. It's On Display with MG, and we post all the live clips and you know, all the guests that come in, we post it on our Instagram and on our TikTok page. So make sure you guys go right now and follow on display with Melissa Gorga on Instagram. So you can see what we look like. Like, don't you want to see what I'm wearing guys? <laughs> Even though half the time I'm a hot mess when I do this podcast. Um, so yes. And I also just want to take a minute to thank all of my envy customers and just shout out to that. And don't forget to head over to envybymg.com. We have the most incredible fall things in like the sweaters, the new jeans, the jumpsuits, the, the skirts with the high boots. You guys will die over my new arrival. So make sure you head over there too. But let's get into my guest today because this is the sort of episode that means the most to me because I feel like I get to step out of my host seat actually for a minute and just catch up with some of my family. So today I have one of the best people I know. She's a successful businesswoman. She's a mom. She's an incredible cousin and she's Envy's number one customer, everyone, please welcome one of my favorite people, my amazing cousin, Tara Bagoda. Hello. I'm so excited to be back in the seat again with you. I know. I'm so excited to have you today. How does it feel to be Envy's number one customer? <laughs> Feels great. And you're always keeping me fresh. And it's like, I don't, have to, it's the one thing I don't have to think about in my mom brain is what I'm wearing. Cause I just go to your page and swipe up. I know. It's so true. And I always say this about Tara, guys. Like, she is the ultimate shopper. So when you guys have that one girlfriend or that, like, one person in the family that, like, even if you're, like, sitting out in the sun, if you're by the pool, if you're laying on the beach, if she's at a soccer game, she's, like, with her children, she also is online shopping. She's the girl who, like, the Instagram ads, she's going to get it. (laughs) They get me. And now TikTok, too, gets you. I'm like a TikTok shop. I need that. Are you all over the TikTok shop as well? Yeah, they have a lot of good stuff. You should check it out. I'm telling you. I know. You're the ultimate shopper and you're really good at it too. And like, I feel like you're very educated in, in like products and what to get. You're very good with like skincare and what's good for you and what's not good for you. You're great at all of that stuff. Thank you. I love to shop. Yeah, you do. But first off, we had a lot of questions. I did ask, I, know. I asked everybody for like questions that they wanted to hear. First of all, I just think this is going to be such a fun to my listeners, to my listeners. You guys need some girl talk from me sometimes. Girl talk. Yes. And I can't always do that with Joe Gorga. So Tara, just like, we'll give you a little bag. You guys want to know how we're related. Tara, you want to give the story of how we're related? Oh, sure. So a long time ago, no, <laughs> our dad, our dads are brothers. Yes. Our dads are brothers. We're first cousins and yes. we've been close our whole life. Even though we have an age gap, it really never affected us. We just, the age gap keeps getting smaller and smaller, which is so interesting. And we always say like our daughters one day, like they'll be close. They don't know it now, but they're going to be. Yes. Yeah, so Tara and I are like about six years apart. Um, yeah. ish Tara's birthday's in November. So we're, we're about like six years apart, but we have been, I will honestly say best friends since the day she was born. You know, me as a six year old just thought she was like my toy and I kind of never put her down. And I have so many videos, like just dancing with her and videoing. Yeah. We're literally, she's, she's been in my life, my whole life. And literally one of my biggest confidants, honestly. And 
one of my best friends. Yeah. So our dads are brothers and her father is actually my godfather for the, for you, you know, for whoever doesn't know out there. Father and mother are mine. Yes. I got so many questions. Obviously, Tara, you know that people love to watch our family. We're very tight. We're big group of cousins. We have my two sisters, your brother, our other cousins that are our first cousins. We are a very tight knit family. Why? Like, help me explain why we're so tight. Well, we grew up with an aunt that always kept us together, the matriarch, the oldest, you know, the sister of the brothers. Yes. And she always brought us together. Aunt Luella. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Luella, she always made things fun and we always wanted to be with each other. And I think because we could truly be our full selves with one another and be completely vulnerable, we could give each other feedback. We are so honest and our opinions matter to one another so much. Like I value what you have to say and we all value each other and we all look out for each other. So I think that's why we are friends by choice. Not all cousins are best friends. They're just, you know, family. They see each other a couple of times a year. We genuinely go out of our way to make sure we're seeing each other. We miss each other when we're not with each other. It's it's really beautiful. And I, everyone sees it and they're like, you're so lucky that you and your cousins are so close. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. It's not something you take for granted. Right. It isn't. And I do feel like we're lucky, but we can't always say it's luck. We all put a lot of, so I don't want people out there saying like, they're just lucky. Like, no guys, we work on our family a lot in this family. We recently, Tara, I think it was you like put in our, so we have a quarantine cousins, uh, group chat. chat. Yes. Which I think you guys, during COVID. Yep which we've during COVID. And I think we've, I've talked about this before on the podcast guys, but like even recently, I want to say it was you, Tara, just put in there. Like we are so due for a cousin's night. Like, let's go put something on the calendar. Yeah. We're good at that. Like we all get out our calendars. We put something out there in advance. We plan in advance. Like it's fall. We're all excited. We're like, let's pick a Sunday fun day and like come up North and go to your house and do Sunday dinner or come see one of the boys football games. And we plan in advance. We're all so busy, especially you. And I think we make that effort to really make sure that we are seeing each other. Yeah. And I do love what you say. I love that you said cousins are friends by choice, right guys? Cause yep. we all know we can't pick our family. God knows, yep. but you yeah. know, you, you can choose to make a cousin a friend. And I just think that's huge, right? Like it's huge to yep. say like we are friends by choice, not cousins right. by choice, which That's like, that's like a, that's a big thing. And I think that's why, you know, people on Instagram, obviously they look at the outside looking in, they just see this fun, which we all just have like fun through our veins. Also, we're just like fun people as well. Right? We like to party. I feel like you're one of the only housewives too, that I truly feel like brings her family around to like everything. Like you have an event, it goes in the group chat. We all know about it. Like you are constantly filling us in. And I'm like, I don't really know if I, I follow all the housewives. I don't really know if I know many of their cousins or aunts and uncles the way we do things, you know? Right. No, it's true. It's true. I feel like I have brought in like my outside family probably more than anyone. And yeah. it's crazy because people actually recognize you guys and see you guys. I, I know. At the Envy Fashion Show, it was crazy. I had people coming out to me like, are you cousin Tara? I'm like, yes. And like, <laughs> I'm more of the private one. Like I always say, like, this is your wheelhouse. You were meant for this. I could never. I love watching you behind the scenes. Like you're good at it. But when people say it to me, I'm like, oh, my God, that's so weird. Well, speaking of that and just the fame of it all, obviously, you've you've known me way before the Real Housewives of New Jersey. What? What do you think has it has the fame or being uh, famous now has what do you think it's changed about? our family? And what do you think has changed about me? What what are the biggest changes in me? And you're allowed to rip me today if you want. You can say no. good or bad. I'm fine with I it. Think, I think it's made things super exciting. Like how cool is it to have a cousin on reality TV that people like recognize when we're out? That's really cool. I think what is awesome, it's created this platform for you to like become this businesswoman that you just like never really knew was inside of you. You went to school for teaching. You did the mommy years. You had the little ones. I watched you do that. And then I wanted to do that. But, you know, it had this beast came out of you, this girl opening a boutique and doing the podcast, all this stuff. So that's been really cool. I don't think it's, if anything, it's made us more protective and look out for one another. Like the other day I saw something, a video made about you on the internet. And I was like, what is this? Oh my God. 
Yes. Like Melissa, this girl is saying you had all this stuff done to your face, eyebrow lift, this and that. I'm like, that is not true. So I commented it to her. I was like, Melissa has not done any of that, but she will own what she has done. And yeah. that like, and then, you know, but I always will text you first. I'm like, can I comment this? Or sometimes I just go for it. I'm like, I don't care. I'm speaking up for my cousin, but little things like that. But that was funny the other day that happened. It was right after we had lunch, you and I, we had our, this is when we were having our girl talk saying, we need to do a podcast. People just need to hear what we talk about at lunch. And then I called you. I'm like, someone's claiming you had all this stuff done. And you didn't. No, literally, Tara, we went for a girl's lunch, her and I, and within like four hours, she starts texting me. Guys, I don't know if you know, I'm not sure the exact doctor's name on social media, but there is a woman on social media that kind of puts up before and after, and she she's a doctor. And or, She was on the OC Housewives. Jen, she's really nice. Oh, I, mean, I didn't know that. She was an OC Housewife? Yeah, for a minute. Oh my God. I did not realize she was on the OC. Yeah. You were just on the chopping block this week. She's been doing it to everybody. And it, it, she does it nicely. Like, she wasn't mean, but she assumed you had, you know, eyebrow lift. And, like, I'm like, go see Melissa's eyebrow girl. She does a really good job. Wait a second. I was dying because Tara sends this to me, guys. And she's like, look, and do you guys know what it feels like to have someone literally put your face, two different photos of your face, by the way, and usually they pick the absolute worst lighting photo that you ever took a picture with. And they put the photos side by side, right? And then it's like, yeah they're taking a finger and marking your face up and they're like, well, her forehead is this, her eyes have been done underneath. Just fun fact. Yes. I've had Botox. Yes. I've had my nose done. Yes. I've had my lips done. That is it. (laughs) That is all. And I would, I am not the type, like I will tell you, I know that I wasn't like wanting to scream from the rooftops about my nose when I first got it done. And I do think that was my own worries about having a young daughter and just being on reality TV. And it was also, yes, I kind of felt like, can I have one thing that's private? Like, I don't want my young daughter to hear this. I was weird with my daughter, even knowing that I had a boob job. Like I have always been very protective of my kids innocence. That was always huge for me. You've done a good job with it. Thank you. Just because you're trying to stay healthy doesn't mean you have to cut out all of the carb-heavy foods you love. Hero Bread reinvented the bread and buns that make staying healthy easy. Fluffy, delicious flavor and texture with no net carbs, zero grams of sugar, and fewer calories, plus protein and fiber. And now you can try their sweet, melt-in-your-mouth Hawaiian rolls for guilt-free sliders. Guys, I found out about Hero Bread a few months ago, and it's become a staple in the Gorga household. It tastes so good. It's not all boardy like the other healthy breads out there. And it packs a great amount of protein and fiber to get you through the day. Hero is revolutionizing the bread industry, and they have something for every craving, including sliced bread loaves, buns, and tortillas. Keep the carbs out of your diet without compromising flavor with Hero Bread. Get 10% off your order at Hero.co and use code MELISSA at checkout. That's MELISSA at H-E-R-O dot C-O. Guys, seriously, you need to try this out. It's delicious. Are you taking that dream vacation this summer but dreading the cost? With Ibotta, you get cash back on all of your purchases, so you can spend more time making memories this summer and less time dreaming about them. Ibotta is a free app that lets you earn cash back every time you shop. Earn on hundreds of items, from groceries to beauty supplies, even toys, so you can make sure you're beating inflation no matter what you're purchasing. The average Ibotta user earns $256 per year. That could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip, the flight you've been eyeing, or even the fancy dinner you've been craving. You can save on over 2,400 brands and shop at over 1,000 retailers, including your favorite grocery stores, Lowe's, Macy's, Sephora, Best Buy, and so much more. It's time you joined the over 50 million users who use Ibotta to earn cash back every time they shop. Right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners $5 just for trying Ibotta by using code DISPLAY when you register. Just go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the free Ibotta app to start earning cash back and use code DISPLAY. 
That's I-B-O-T-T-A in the Google Play or App Store and use code DISPLAY. That was always like huge for me to protect Antonia's innocence and like the innocence of this world and what I am like kind of subjecting them to by being on reality television. Right. Totally. Yeah. So it was, that's why I was hiding it in the, cause I'm really not the type to hide anything. I'll tell you anything I've done. Like I, that was my only thing that took me a minute and it, and obviously Jacqueline Larita told my, well, she lied. I did not have four by any means, Mm -hmm. but she kind of like ran out there and said it. And I was annoyed because I was like, it's not your story to tell. Like when I'm ready to say this, I will. And I was just, you know, this, now we're going back 10, now we're going back 15 years. But, but the bottom line is this, you know, Jen, I think her name was Jennifer Armstrong. Yeah. She literally was like, well, she filled in all, or she had the, her, her dark circles done under her eyes. I don't have dark circles. That's not what I, it was just like, it was a picture that was people only knew too with you and the anti-aging, like that you are a savage on the beach. I've never seen anything like it. Now I'm taking a place from your book because a page from your book. Because yeah. anywhere we go, the second we get settled, you are like, I need an umbrella. I need shade. You are covering yourself up. You are working the angles. From here up, you don't let the sun touch your body. Like, it's it's impressive because you don't mess around. Like, I'll get a couple, like, I have 40 minutes in, and I'm like, oh, I should hide from the sun. Not you. Like, you don't even, like... You would Hell think you're allergic no. to it. Hell no. To me, it is a toxin. It is no. like... And, you know, Tara will tell you, like, I will literally call over every little, like, I'll every call- cabana boy. <laughs> <laughs> I will Joe call Morgan's over. digging a hole, puts one in, and you're like, I need another one, Joe. Puts another one in. You're yes. like, blocked from both angles. It's like something I've never seen before, but you're very good at the anti aging. Stuff. Thank you. And everyone, that's everyone's biggest question with me all the time is how do you remain staying young? How do you keep your skin this way? Yeah why do you look so young? Like yada, yada. And this is why guys, I am a psycho in the sun, a psycho. Yep. And I'm, I, I would never have told the story the way you did Tara. Cause it's so true. Like when you explain it, oh, you're so funny. You were like, there's this new beach chair from shark tank. I have to get it. It has a shade for over the head. I have to have it. I'm like, she's right. I, I just need to start doing that too. But that's why. So see, you clear I'm, that I'm, up. Yep. I'm rubbing off on people, guys. Trust me, the sun, it's a real thing. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's yeah. a real thing. I do not allow sun to touch my face. And if it does for more than five or 10 minutes, I get anxiety. Like I literally you do. Have, you're I like have. crazy, but you don't even let it touch your decollete. Like you're really, really disciplined and good at it. And you do good skincare, which I'm all about. So yeah, I'm good for you. I'm big on skincare. And guys, I always say this, ladies, like your neck is connected to your face. There, there You can yes. always tell a lady's age from her neck and yes. from her hands, right? So I put sunblock on my hands because when you're driving the same yeah, way, I- that's true too. Yeah, right? You have to treat our necks the same as we treat our faces. It's all one yep. thing here, right? Yep, exactly. Um, yeah. So just to get back to that, guys, the, and, and I'm not ripping this woman at all. She was very nice. I actually got a text from Donna Marco the same day I got a text from Tara. Where, That's my godmother and I were on the same page. Yep. And we're Tara, both Scorpios too. You, you were more like frantic. Like this woman is discussing your whole entire face and like you didn't even get your brows done. You didn't even do that. Like I was saying, I didn't yeah. even get my brows done. And Donna had a complete different reaction. Donna's yeah. like, Oh my God, you have to see this. She said, you're so good. You didn't, you don't need anything else. Like my mom oh took my it God. in such a positive, which she did. She said like, whatever yeah. she did, she did it very subtly and yeah. she did a great job. I'm like, no, you mean I never did it at all yet. And like yeah. with, with that And there's said, nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with needing it. Right. When the time comes. Oh my God, guys, don't get me twisted. I will do all of those things. I will do every single thing the woman said. I, when the time comes. Yeah. So this is not me hating on it or saying I won't do it. I am guaranteeing you that I do it all, everything, everything, but I just haven't done it. I haven't done it yet. I really haven't. But that's just goes to show you, right, Tara? Like, even if you have a photo of yourself, one, you can look fantastic. The next one, you can look like shit. And, yeah. you know, that's what's that's the sucky side of fame. They can pull the craziest 
pictures and shit off the internet and make you feel like, Ooh. I think we all look better. I think we all get better with age though. It's crazy. Like me, first season of the housewives, like when you feel the christening, I look back at pictures. I'm like, seriously, you're like you, what about me with my jet black hair? And like, I feel like we all get better. Yeah. So that was, that's definitely a perk from you being on TV. Like the the group chat will like send each other screenshots. Like, did we really dress like that? Yeah. It's the outfits. It was so much blingier back then. Everything has like, it's so bedazzled. It's just, it's just come a long way. Yeah. Um, But with that said, Tara and I have absolutely no, um, we love plastic surgery. (laughs) We are down for it. it. We love it. I mean, Tara, you have a really fun uh, plastic surgery story. And I know you're so shy about this. I don't know why, but I would love for you to share it with the listeners. And this is why I want you to share it, Tara. It's very relatable, this story. And it's like every young, listen, you're in the young mom stage. Tara's in that stage still, guys, where which I want to kind of go, uh, we'll talk about this separately, but like, and we'll talk about like the friends and being in the young mom stage and just the different stages of life. Right. But you got to tell your plastic surgery story first before we move on. Well, I think it like the takeaway from this, the story is that I'm like an overthinker in recovery and I, oh, I can't make, I struggle with making decisions. Like you, like, you know what you want to do and you do it. Whereas Mm -hmm. I, text the whole family group chat to get their opinion. I drive myself crazy. Um, you do that you with know, everything in life though. Literally. I I, like- but I'm getting so much better at it. And it's like surrounding yourself with people that are good at it makes you want to be like that. Right. That's you're just, it's so true. That's and that's one thing you and I are a lot alike, but we couldn't be more opposite when it comes to oh, making a decision, like two total opposites. Oh, totally. Yeah. Total. Opposites. Go ahead. Tell us your story. Well, no, you know, I did, you know, I had three kids. I had twins. I have little Nicholas, who's almost five. And your body changes after kids, and you kind of lose what you had. Right. And I just wasn't feeling good in my clothes, and just wanted a little enhancement. We're talking about boobs, guys. This is a breast augmentation. Yes. And you're like, it's not. It's Tara. It's nothing. So literally, I come from a family. I think everyone in the entire group chat has them, but me. And like two of like the new mommies don't because. They're not there yet, but they're going to want them one day. Yes. And I analyzed this. I canceled it. I rescheduled it. I made you all crazy. I went to consult after consult. And the day of my surgery, like on the 11th hour, waiting, 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 because the doctor had to do like an emergency uh, mammogram on the patient before me. So I was just there for hours waiting, thinking, driving myself crazy, changing the the CC size, all the things. I, I feel and like I, I on, have to tell guys, she drove. I was on the OR table and I got off of it. No, she drove us insane. Nobody has any idea. First of all, we had to hear about her getting these implants for months. And I mean months, if not a year straight. Right. And then it was like, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And then what size, what size, what size. And then we would get photos 24 hours a day of boobs that she likes and boobs. And this, I went to this doctor. I went to that doctor consultations. Like, I was so scared. Oh my God. She, and this is, listen, it's relatable, but she was told when she went for her consultation, listen, cause she are starting with a smaller breast. You need, you have the tissue there. Right. And that she needed to go a little bit larger. Yeah. They were just gone from kids. I breastfed twins. I pumped. Like it just, Changed it, changed everything. Yep. And I made myself crazy. And literally the day of the surgery, I got off the table and said, Can I make one last phone call? And it was to your sister. <laughs> and she said, Tara, get on the table. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> She's yeah. like, It's the easiest surgery in the in America. You will be fine. And I was like, Okay. And I went back in and then I said, Okay, you could give me the IV. She literally said, hang up the phone and get on the table because Tara literally right up. We had to like, like we were like, Tara, just do it because we don't, we're so sick of hearing you talk about it. She jumped off the OR table to call us one more time to make sure that she was doing the right thing. I I had to phone a family member, phone a friend. It was, it wasn't good, but here I am. And I wanted super small, right? I just 
wanted to fill back you up. Wanted the absolute smallest implant that was actually I made. I think that's actually what I got. <laughs> you did, which you know she's not sure. And the doctor did recommend going a size up. They're like, I think you even said Tara. She like the doctor was like, we've never actually put an implant this this small in anyone before. Yep, they were like, this is the tiniest we've ever did. But the end of the day is at the end of the day, you just have to go with your gut when you want to do something and stop worrying. I think I was worried about like, I don't even know who I thought would judge me because everybody I know has like has them. I, I just was freaking myself out. And I think that has a lot to do with like having a little anxiety, which is something I work on. Right. Um, I'm so jealous of people that aren't anxious, but you know, it's we're an anxious generation and I'm getting better at it for sure. I'm like, you don't sweat shit, Melissa. I'm like, you don't worry about nothing. Like, I love that. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know. I think with wisdom, experience, life experience. It's also a personality trait. You're kind of born that way. I was a, I was just a daredevil from day one. I was the girl who, you remember, we all grew up in the town oh, yeah. of Tom's River. All my girlfriends still live there. I was like 16. Like, I'm out. See you guys later. Like, in New York City every night at 16. Yeah, you just do things. Like, you left. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm like, wow. Like, that takes so much to do. It's brave. It's being brave and being caught. Con- it comes from being confident. Yeah. Well, I guess so. Yes. And it's also just like, I'm a risk taker. I you believe are. that if you don't take risks, you're not going to move and shake and like, you're not going to grow. And I kind of, I get bored very fast. We all know the best way to learn a language, immersion, which is living where the language is spoken and using it every day. But if that's not in the cards this year, you can still learn a language the second best way. And that's with Babbel. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teachings, so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. Guys, Joe and I gave Babbel a shot before our Europe trip, and it absolutely came in handy. It's not like learning from a book. Babbel makes it very easy to learn a language, and it really teaches you some of the most commonly used terms and phrases to lean on when you're traveling. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, you can get up to 60% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash on display. Get up to 60% off at babbel.com slash on display, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash on display. Rules and restrictions may apply. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, bit to get 30, bit to get 20, 20, 20, bit to get 20, 20, bit to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save. $45 up front payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail. I feel like you also have that trait where you get bored easily. Like you are... One thing about you, Tara, one thing like, and let me give Tara the most amazing compliment. Tara has three kids, three little kids. How old are all, how old are the twins now? They're nine. And then Nicholas is four going on five. Soon. Yeah. So yeah. Nicholas is busy four. household. Yes. Busy Your household. Husband. Um, You're a working mom. Tara owns what? Two dry bars, one in Tom's River, one in Wall Township. Yeah. And then hand and stones throughout. Yeah. And then. My husband and Nick own uh, the Sweat 440s that we hope and open to own more of them in New Jersey. But a lot of your viewers were asking us about workouts and stuff, which yes. you know, is something that you and I love to do on vacation. We will find a gym, find a class. Always. We love. Oh, You have to. We like to eat. We like to drink. We like wine. Like you got to, you always say lift heavy, get a heavy weight. I always, I give my workout advice. So that's, well, might as well get into it because a lot of the questions that I got repeated over and over when I asked what they wanted to hear us talk about was diet, exercise, and wellness. Everyone wants to know, Tara, why they always see our family and and they see me drinking wine. We and you are always drinking a Cosmo. 
we always have food everywhere we go. We eat everything. And I do yeah. think the answer to that is literally, guys, we work out as hard as we do so that we can eat what we eat. Is that yeah. fair to say, Tara? Totally fair. And your sisters are like beast in the gym. Like when they go and I meet them up with them for like a sweat class, I'm like, damn, I'm like, this hopefully means I have these jeans too. And I can throw weights around and run and do what your sisters do in the gym because your health is your wealth and working out and women, especially, I feel like it's so hard as you get older to create muscle and, you know, it's just so important to take care of yourself. And if you could work out, by all means, go to the gym because it's a blessing, right? It is a blessing. And I always try to tell everyone when you guys ask me, what are you eating? Talk to me about diet and exercise. And I feel like I'm not giving you like a straight answer. I want to answer you. But, but what Tara just said was actually very true too. So we do a lot of family vacations together. Tara and I will go on our Christmas vacation together with our kids. And we do a lot of like Hamptons weekends together. Yeah. And, quick little like weekend trips. Tara and I are always the first ones up in the morning, getting our Starbucks, getting, well, she likes Dunkin'. I like Starbucks. Girl, me and Joe Gorga. But even if we put sneakers on and just go for a walk, right? or we rent bikes and we go on a bike ride, like you just got to move, you know? Yeah. Makes you feel better. No. And then it's all about balance, just making healthy choices and not overeating, but also not depriving yourself, right? Exactly. So it's, for me, it's all about portion control. I truly yeah. never say no to anything. Like if you're going to put a dessert on the table, I am not going to say, no, I'm on a diet. I can't have that. No. What I will do is I will have a couple pieces of it, probably not eat the whole piece. Sometimes I'll eat the whole piece, but guess what else I'll do? When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to the gym. So yeah. this is why when you guys ask me, how do you eat that? Are you eating that pasta? Are you doing this? Yes, yeah. I am. I'm not eating a huge portion of it. I'm, I'm tasting yep. it. I'm always tasting everything. I'm eating a little bit of everything, but I'm most importantly getting up and going to the gym after. I don't know about you, Tara, but as I get older, I have realized that going to the, if I skip the gym, my stomach hurts. My body doesn't feel good. And it mentally makes you feel better. Like yes. I feel like I can just go with the day knowing that I like check that off my list and I feel more energized. I feel good. Like it just, it's a mental thing too, as much as it's physical. It is. It's a complete mental thing. I almost feel like proud of myself. Like, okay, so yes. whatever else you do today is fine because you did the most important thing, which was like exercise your body and mind and yeah. moving on. And I, and I know it sounds cliche guys, but I don't know how else to explain that. That is literally, and listen, I know everyone has a different stage of working out. I would say I'm probably, and my sisters, we work out the hardest. Like I lift very heavy weight, but that's, everyone has to work out for their body type, right? Don't I always tell you, Tara, pick up the more, the heavier weights. Pick up the heavier one. I know I have mm. back and knee issues, but I modify when needed, but you're right. Well, and you don't necessarily have to do heavy weights. My body type, I'm a little bit more, I'm like tiny, right? So I want to build my butt bigger. I want to make my thighs. I want to see the quads. I want to see all these things. So that's yeah. why I'm, I do weighted workouts that mix in like a little bit of cardio. And guys, Sweat 440s, I don't know if you have any in your area. They are awesome for it. Uh, Tara's husband owns a couple of them along with Tara's brother, Nick. And we love, so I, the reason I love a group fitness workout is for the music and just, you're not going to quit, right? If you're in there, you're moving station to station, you're sweating it out. The music's playing. I love a good, I love a good sweat 440 workout. No, it's a great workout. And it's super convenient for busy moms or busy, anybody, busy business people, workers, doctors, whatever it's classes are available every 10 minutes. You can jump in a live class, which is what I love. Super convenient, never late. And you also have those in Tom's river and wall, correct? Just Tom's river and ocean. And ocean. then it's, you know, a brand that you can find in Miami, New York, and we're hoping to continue to build it in New Jersey. So it's right. exciting. And hopefully up by you. I know you want one by you. Yes. I keep saying we need one in Franklin Lakes. Let's go. I would go all the time. I think another thing that's important too about working out is like our husbands do it too. And it's nice that you can push each other and like on vacation, you can go to a gym together. You can go for a walk together. Like remember we went biking in the Hamptons with Joe and Danny, like that was so fun. It's right. good when you have your partner on the same health kick and journey as you. 
A thousand percent. Like that, that's huge because if one's doing it and the other one's not, it does suck because you feel like you're pushing someone or you're belittling them that they're not working out with you. So the couple that works out together stays together. Isn't that what they oh, say? Yes. No, they say plays yes. together, stays together. Right? <laughs> oh, you have all your lines for it. What's your favorite cheat food? Like what, tell, what are my eating habits? Like when you go to watch me, Tara, tell the people, what do I do? Oh, Why do you I love sugar? If I'm going back to childhood and even as like you and your 20, like whatever, even now, like you'll love a good fruit roll up. Oh like yeah. Baby. You would like you are sugar yes. and me. It's like bread, cheese, pasta, pizza. That is my holy grail. Give me all the fruit ropes and devil dogs that anyone has yes, ever. Like you're like a kid. Yes. I want all kid food. You know, just before I got on this podcast, I was like, I just wish I had some sweet tarts. Like I just want to sit and eat yes. sweet tarts right now. Oh all my God. See, that's how different we are. I'm like, no, I'd rather twirl my fork. Okay. Well, I want to talk a little bit just about stages of life because you and I have always discussed this, I feel like. So I feel like this is the girl talk that I wanted to have with my listeners listening because it's such a like relatable story about how you go through different stages of life as a mom, right? And just as a wife. And I feel like you know, I always was a little ahead of you, right? So my kids are always going to be six years older than yours. And so like, for instance, you have nine year old, I have a 14 year old, like, it's just, we've always, I've always been a couple steps ahead and watching, you know, and I'll always, guys, I have so many fun stories about Tara coming over to just as like a 20 year old ready to like party with me still, because let's not forget that like, or maybe we're 18 because at the time I'm like 24, 25 yeah. with a baby. <laughs> I know. It was so fun to watch you in your element. I loved it. She was watching me in my element, like married, making the house, like doing like, you know, doing what you're supposed to do in life after you, when you get yep. older and like building the house and the husband and the kids and the cars. And yep. I'm watching her like, oh, I want to come to the club. Like, can I come? Yeah. <laughs> totally. I'm like, I want to do what you're doing. And you're like, I want to go out with you. I know. I know. I so there, it is crazy. And I do want to talk to you about different stages of life because you are so good at this. This is one thing that I feel like you're very like knowledgeable about. And like you have so, so Tara lives in like a neighborhood and guys, you guys know how it is for all my younger moms out there that are listening. Like when you first start having your children and they first start going to like elementary school and yes, that's when it happens, right? It's very important. Cause you're like, who am I going to be friends with? Who's going to be my mom group? Who is like, who's what, fr- like, I want them to accept me. Oh, I want to be friends with those moms. Cause they drink wine on Sunday nights while their kids play on the playground or no, I'm just saying you do. And yeah. it's a real fact. Like, Oh, I want to be friends with those moms. They're like the cool moms. And, and it gets so stressful. And I know this just from, I won't mention any other names, but other girlfriends I have that are kind of in that stage of life right now yeah. that are very funny about like, you start, you start to almost make reservations, right? For dinner with these moms around town and moms in school and hope that your husband likes their husband. And isn't it a huge time to just start like making friends and trying to figure yeah. out like if you want all these friends or not? Yeah, it's fun. And then it's like a little exhausting. Yeah. Um, but I think it's that phase of life. I mean, you and I've always had a lot of friends and like different groups and like bring people together. Yeah. So you know, but I feel like you find your people, like in the beginning you have to navigate it. And that's, if you want that, like not everybody wants that whole social. Some people just stick to themselves. Right. I like people and I'm really social. So like, I like to kind of get to know everybody, but I, and I also don't like change, but I'm realizing that years with your kids are always fleeting. Like eventually they want to hang out with who they want to hang out with. And you kind of are losing control where you were in control of who we get to spend our time with, with other families. Right. Um, because it, it really is fleeting and it just goes by so fast, but you kind of just figure out who your people are. And, and best thing I ever learned, even though I hate change is that season reason lifetime. That's when people come into your life, right? Yep. You always have to know that yep. some things are just a season and, uh, others are for a reason. Maybe I had to teach you a lesson or maybe you needed that friend in your life for that particular moment in time to go through something. And then you have your lifers, right? Um, and you know who yours are. I know who mine are. And it's just a good place to be. Imagine an app designed to make you use it less seems counterproductive. No. 
Well, Apartments.com's instant alert feature works exactly that way. Instead of scanning rental listings a million times a day, simply set and forget your search to whatever you're looking for in a place and let Apartments.com do the rest. From pet-friendly apartments to balconies to in-unit ACs, Apartments.com's powerful search tools let you know when your perfect combination of features you're seeking is listed. So you don't have to power through rental descriptions one by one. With more rental listings than anywhere else, Apartments.com's instant alerts mean you can spend less time online looking for the perfect place and more time doing you. And Apartments.com has more than just apartments. They have all kinds of homes from houses to townhouses to condos to apartments and everything in between. They've helped millions of renters find their perfect place to live. The ones that check off all their own personal boxes. So check it out. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. On Display with Melissa Gorga is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Hey guys, whether you love true crime, comedy, celebrity interviews, news, or even motivational speakers, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue, right? And guess what? Now you can call the shots on your auto insurance too. Enter the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. The Name Your Price tool puts you in charge of your auto insurance by working just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you a variety of coverages that fit within your budget, giving you options. Now that's something you're going to want to press play on. It's easy to start a quote, and you'll be able to choose the best option for you fast. It's just one of the many ways you can save with Progressive Insurance. Quote today at Progressive.com to try the Name Your Price tool for yourself and join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, price and coverage match limited by state law. I feel like you just recently figured out who all yours are because you're younger, right? So you were going through all this and I was kind of watching yeah. you kind of move to a new you're like, neighborhood. I can't keep up with you. I'm like, me either. I'm going to slow it down. I promise. Oh my gosh. Well, but by the way, Tara lives in the most fun neighborhood. She lives in it's such great. a cute neighborhood where there's just a lot of young moms and young kids that play together and they come up with like these, they call it the OC actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's so funny. It's so meant to be for me. Yes. Yeah. They have a lot of fun things for the kids. Like, you know, we do hay rides and all these things and it's really cute and I love it. But, you know, you can't keep up and do everything. Like, life is all about finding balance. And, you know, eventually your time is limited and you only want to spend it with who you're able to. You know, when it's limited free time, you have to be really selective with that. Right. And I am I feel like I'm in this phase right now of, like, I really just rather be with my kids and hanging with my friends who they're friends with and just, you know, hang out like that. I feel like that's my favorite place to be right now because pretty soon – my older ones aren't going to want to be with us, which is like heartbreaking. Which is where I'm at right now because see, so you're, yes. you're kind of lucky. I always looked at my sisters and their stages, even though, you know, my sisters are 10 years older than me. So it was a little bigger of a, like it's a bigger in between stage, right? Yeah. You totally. can kind of watch me and my kids are just like, you know, six years ahead of yours and the stage of life that I'm in is a, you know, a little ahead of yours. So you kind of, I feel like you also watch where I'm at and you're like, and you get lucky because you're like, look, pretty soon you're going to see little Joey when we're on vacation, yep. doesn't want to hang with us anymore. Now he's running off to find this friend. He's over there. He's on his phone. He's whatever. And so it's good that you get to kind of foresee like, all right, that's going to happen soon. So you're going to eat up every moment with your babies yeah. right now. You, are. you know, and you want to teach them to be independent and go off on their own, all those things. But like, it's also sad. Right. So. It is. It's sad. And it's, and it's, it's kind of where I'm at, honestly. Like I, but I thank God my kids are still around me so much. They want to be with us all the time. We go to dinner. Well, that's the ultimate goal, right? You want them to want to always go back to you. And I, and I yeah. just said to you the other day, I'm like, you did such a good job with Antonia. Cause I feel like you're not, you don't have a reason to really truly worry about her. And you're like, because I know she's responsible. So like, wow, what right. a great thing. And I, we all think that of her too. Right. Which is a huge, you know, testament to how you raised her and you know that she is going to make smart decisions in college. Right. And the truth is like, how do you as a parent find a way to trust your child on their own? Right. And how, you know, Please how, tell me. and the question is, how did Joe and I even 
build that, I guess, with our kids and Antonia. And I do think I have a slight answer to this. Again, I don't yeah. know if it's cliche, but I promise you guys and Tara, you as my witness, we spend a lot of time with our children, a lot. And and I don't baby my children, right, Tara, in any which yeah. way. They are not babied at all. They are told the truth. They are yelled at when they don't act properly. They, yep. If they embarrass me, I let them know instantly. Um, I am a strict mom, I would say. You are, but, yeah. But, uh, but also a fun mom. And I also will have fun with them as well. But they do not cross me. I think that's fair to say. I don't know, Tara, what would you say? Yeah, I think that's all really good tips. It's about finding balance that, you know, you want them to turn to you, but not be your friend too much, not make, but also right. make, make it known that you're their safe place and being fun and also just making sure they respect you, I think is huge. Yes. They wanna, you want them to respect what you say. Of course. I think that's a huge, like huge, huge part. And I think Joe, yeah. you know, it also comes down to the dad too. And I think Joe's really good at, having them respect us. He's very big on that. And so he, you know, he's always taught them about the respect. I'm going to give him that. But I do think yeah. for all of, you know, the kids your age and young moms out there, and they look at my older children now who are in high school and, and they say like, how, how did you do this? The truth is guys, we spent a lot of time with them. We talk to them. We tell them the Talking. truth. Right. And the same way we do with our cousins group, why we're all so close. We tell each other when we are wrong. We are not, we embarrass each other. Sometimes we call yep. each other out. We don't, we don't like, what is it called? Like we don't tiptoe around each other. We don't No, We don't do it at all. We're vulnerable. And you know, we're, and, and we're present. I think it's so, it was so important to be present when you're with your kids, like giving them that full attention. We're in this crazy world with these phones and all the yep. distractions. It's so important to give them your undivided attention and know that they're important. You haven't given your children cell phones yet, right? No. You know how I feel about that. I'm really, I feel like talking about cell phones now is like the new politics. Like of, it's like, do we talk about our kid getting a phone or not getting a phone? Did those moms give phones or did those moms know? Like, I feel like this is the new thing now for me and my age group yep. of what we're dealing with. Um, but no, I'm not there yet. I don't know when I'll be there yet. And when I am, check on me. Yeah, I think, and I think that's okay. I think every yeah. mom, also, you have to know your children and when your children are ready, yeah. and when you think they're going to never focus on anything but, or when you think they're ready, yeah. you know, and I think that yeah. just, you definitely know your own kids. Like my daughter, she's little ADHD and like, there's just so much science behind phones, like, and stimulation. And I don't think it would be good for her because I think it's going to, cause her to be a little, these phones are designed to be addictive. I'm like, she doesn't need that yet. I want her to be a kid. I want her to keep making up her dance routines with her friends and not be on a cell phone. So, yeah. and I just lean towards that more with girls. Cause I think boys are a little different, but, um, I don't want my son on it right now either. So I'm not there yet. Yeah. And listen, there's all sorts of advice out there, right? But here's the best advice to all the moms. It's simple. Do what works best for your family. That's, yeah. that's the best advice yeah. that I can give, yeah. right? I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what I think it comes down to, like what works best for you, right? Yeah. Um. All right, Ty, there's so much going on with, I, I need to talk to you a little bit before I let you go, a little bit about pop culture and stuff that's going oh. on because I know that this is like a huge, you know, we all talk about it in our family and you yeah. know how I feel on the gen Ben situation, but did you see that they were just, and I'm like, Oh my God, is it wrong that I got a little excited? Am I the only one? Like I want them together. Well, first of all, Ben's my, my crush because everyone thinks my husband looks like he, my husband gets told all the time. He looks like he Ben. So looks like I just want to say, I, I love Ben. Yes. I love Jen. I love them to get, I loved, I wanted them to win. And I will say the other day, those paparazzi picks, like she was looking good. Like she would, she always looks good, but she was just looking super snatched. She looks great in those jeans. I heard they were caught like kissing and hugging, but I haven't seen those pictures yet. All I saw was Ben looking a little mad and agitated. I know why I'll be honest with you. I have a feeling on that and why he always looks agitated. I think when he's with her, the paparazzi is triple around him. Yeah. And, and I think, like, 
time. Yes. I honestly think Ben can probably go out and about most of the time. Not all the time. He's Ben Affleck, but like, cause he's a guy, number one, he's not like a pop. He's not a pop star. She's also a pop star and she's gorgeous and all of these things. I think he can live his everyday life when he's not with her pretty normal. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I, I, know, I mean, I know he's been Affleck, but you know what I'm saying? It's not so like everywhere he goes, there's going to be a paparazzi when he's with her. I think he is so frustrated that there is a paparazzi every time he turns, like he literally probably, and you know, my brain, Oh, just so you know, I, I put a full concept together as to why his face was like that. Do you want to hear what I think? I would love to know. Because they pulled up to the Beverly Hills Hotel. Well, first of all, that's not low-key place to go. It's not. But can I just tell you, there's not just paparazzi sitting there. There's not. Because I've been there a thousand times. I think I took you there once to sit in the back. Right? We had lunch back there. So here's my thing. He was probably like pulled up to three paparazzi. They probably didn't call and make a reservation purposely. Right. Because they were like, don't even warn anybody that we're coming. And he gets there and he's like, what the fuck? Like, how did that's what my brain's telling me happened? I don't know. Yeah. Don't think I'm right. I probably think, and he was probably just agitated, just wanted to sit down and talk. But I wonder what they talked about. It's just, you know, well, because I wanted to see them win. Didn't they both announce? Did they actually say they were getting a divorce yet? Or did we- she filed? She filed. She filed. Great. So. so you know what? Maybe they're getting cold feet on the divorce. Maybe they're backpedaling. But you know me. This is a this is a stan. I'm a Benefer stan over here. No one's ever gonna yeah. make me hate her or hate him or hate them. So there's that. Um but yep. I hope they survive. But anyway, Tara, thank you so much for coming on today. I love our cousins talks. I like to let people in a little bit on some of our like people want to come to lunch with us, girlfriend. They want to have Cosmos with us. Who do I get credit for turning you on to Cosmos? I would love to get that credit while we're here. You brought them back to my life. Okay. Okay, good. You did. And now we're like Cosmo connoisseurs. We rate them. We we are the Cosmo queens. But one question, and this is for this is the last question. This is from the fans i i cannot let you go oh, gosh. They, this is for both of us and i didn't even check this yet guys by the way they want to know two things number one is there any hot guys we're now discussing in the quarantine cousins text chain and what is the last text that was written in quarantine cousins should we check and oh my, should we check it was probably from it was probably from me hold on let's see but the last hot guy well because we used to always know. like send hot guys <laughs> and then antonio would be like i'm on this we're like oh and these are not hot guys that any of us know by the way okay hold on oh my gosh wait i'm gonna what did I say um, it was probably about the last text is LMAO, laugh my ass off. It's from my sister yeah. Lisa because Tara put into the text like, hey guys, I'm going on Melissa's podcast today is literally what it says. Should I talk about how I jumped off the table? That is- <laughs> yeah. I needed their support. I'm like, am I going there? Am I sharing this information? And here I am. Here we so go. Hopefully on a We'll play it tonight. I don't get an anxiety attack in my sleep. Why? It fine. is such a normal thing that I think moms like, are, I know. and people who listen, I feel like you're the last person we know, you know, everyone's getting boob jobs. I just feel like you, we are, but I will say this about that. The world has changed and everybody does want a softer, smaller, the look is over oh, yeah. with the big fake. Like even mine, if oh, I can totally. go down a I size, never. I would go, I've had mine done definitely had them redone. Like it's very normal to have surgery yeah. twice. It's actually not. I think whatever you should do to make yourself feel good, especially, you know, if your body changes significantly after having kids, whatever you got to do for yourself, no shame. And you know what? Best quote I ever heard. People's opinions of you are none of your business. So who cares? Oh my God. I love that. People's yeah. opinions of you are none of your business. None of your business. You shouldn't even know about it. So facts. We're going to end right there with that, Tara. Awesome quote. I love you. Thank you for coming on display today. I love you too. This is fun. We have so much to talk about. We should do it again. No, we have like lists and lists and lists. We're definitely going to do another one soon. So everybody DM me. Tell me how much you love the girl talk. You can follow Tara too, unless you're private. Are you private? I like go back and forth because I'm a weirdo. Yeah, well, just tell me, guys. DM me and tell me how much you loved our girl talk today. Thank you for coming on. We love you guys. Ciao. Love you.
Hey guys, this is Kale Lowry. And this is V Rivera. We're the hosts of Baby, Baby Mama's, Mama's No, no Drama. Drama. Every Tuesday, we talk about parenting, co parenting, lifestyle, and sex, pop culture, current events, and pretty much all the things you want in one podcast. So download and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. Listen to us every Tuesday and join us with all the tea. Pluto TV is a place for movie fans like me. And TV fans like me. They've got something for everyone and it's free. I love free and I love Jersey Shore. For me, it's The Godfather. SpongeBob SquarePants, I am Patrick. Patrick is me. Oh, Forrest Gump, come on. Criminal Minds, solving crime after bedtime. Whatever you love to watch, Pluto TV makes it easy with thousands of free movies and shows. Pluto TV, stream now, pay never. This message is brought to you by the Cologuard test. Cologuard is a one-of-a-kind way to feel more in control of your colon cancer screening through a use-at-home test with none of the prep that's required for a colonoscopy. The Cologuard test is the only FDA-approved non-invasive screening test that looks for both altered DNA and blood in your stool. The American Cancer Society recommends if you are at an average risk, you begin screening for colon cancer at age 45. And because many people with early-stage colon cancer have no symptoms, colon cancer screenings are crucial for early detection. Plus, most Injured patients pay zero dollars, and if follow-up care is needed, this is usually covered by insurance. With zero downtime, no special preparation, and a use-at-home screening test that's delivered right to your door, it's time to put your health first. So if you're 45 or older and at average risk, ask your healthcare provider about screening for colon cancer with the Cologuard test. You can also request a Cologuard prescription today at cologuard.com slash podcast. Do not use Cologuard if you have had adenomas, have inflammatory bowel disease, and certain hereditary syndromes, or a personal or family history history of colorectal cancer. False positive and negative results may occur. Any positive results should be followed by a colonoscopy, not a replacement for a colonoscopy in high-risk patients. The Cologuard test is available by prescription only. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready get 30, ready get 20, 20, 20, ready get 20, 20, ready get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail.